R.C. Worsting Company values our relationships with engineers and on-site septic system installers. Therefore, we've developed a number of AutoCAD product and system drawings which can help engineers bridge the gap between design and installation. These details include scaled equipment components, standard septic and dose tank sizes, drain filled products and details, as well as many more. Currently, we are offering these details in AutoCAD format to our engineering partners free of charge. But keep in mind some of the items contained therein are region specific. So let us know and we can get the correct details for your project. We've recorded a few videos here to help you use some of the features contained within the drawings available. Please find us at www.rcworst.com and subscribe to our channel. Enjoy. Hello, this is Eric with RC Worst once again, and uh, this day we will be going over blocks, uh, kind of more of the advanced blocks. We'll be working on uh, this low head pump. Started a little bit of work on there just to uh, reduce some of the, uh, kind of keep this video to uh, kind of more of the sweet spots. So what I've done with this block already, created the base layer, inch and a quarter discharge, inch and a half discharge, two inch, and of course the top view, which we'll be adding uh, the different pipe sizes uh, at a later date. So one thing that we do is uh, these have been uh, very carefully lined up. So we'll be having this section stretched, this section, and this section so we have adjustability throughout the model. So first of all, what we do is uh, let's start with a couple of parameter definitions, and uh, we'll be going over a little bit more of kind of the reasons why uh, we do things certain uh, certain ways when uh, when creating blocks, uh, just for convenience and, and a little bit of uh, headache and stress to fix the uh, the problems that we've come across. So for the first one. Let's start with the grip up top, to the very top one here. Set this out to the side. Off camera, I'm uh, off screen. I will be uh, reducing this down to one grip. Now on this, by hitting escape, deselecting this, reselecting it, now gives you the ability to highlight that. And um, moving that grip. So we can have it right there, which is a convenient place for the uh, for the end user to use. And uh, so now, with that done, we will uh, start with our first parameter. So this, the stretch parameter, we would have to have a box all the way across the majority of this, and then we'd uh, increase some of the we within that block. We'd have part of the pump, part of the uh, the, the cable there, and it would just get really messy really quick. So in order to, uh, to to get away from that, we're going to just have a very small selection box. And then with that, we can grab these are what we want to stretch. So now, without having a move command, we'll see what happens. This, uh, we'll just stretch those uh, those vertical riser tubes, uh, pipes rather. So now we can move command, we're moving up, selecting objects. We want to select everything here. And uh, so there, everything should work fine. And uh, nothing's been left behind. Everything is moving as expected. So this we're good with this um, this particular parameter. So now let's focus on these um, these pipes here. And this one we want it to move down, and we want the grip to end up right here at this midpoint. Want to make sure it's uh, nice and lined up and uh, moving to one grip off screen once again, deselect, grab this, and right there in the center would be a good place. Uh, what we're wanting to do is uh, align this with the outlet of the uh, septic tank. 
And once again, we can do the, uh, the stretch this direction, choose these pipes, and do a move command. And now this should be good. Let's see how it works. This uh, will outline one of the uh, the problems that we didn't select that grip. So now that grip is no longer aligned here. However, this grip still functions properly. So what we do is we go modify our uh, action set. To include this. Now as we move this block, that grip moves along and it stays planted there. So now let's focus on these pipes here. Once again, another linear uh, action, uh, parameter rather. One grip. Ah, so a little bit of a compulsive nature here, not being able to go into the center, but uh, planting it here would, would be a, a, a good thing. So now we can uh, line this up with the discharge, uh, whichever uh, the boot is used in the uh, particular septic tank. And we want to align that as close as we can to the septic tank, reducing the overall leverage uh, from settling and uh, preventing these pipes from breaking. Uh, one of the things that, uh, that we try to focus on is, uh, in, is we're introducing um, new construction. And once again, we'll just add the same. And once again, a move. Let's show a commonly uh, a common uh, mistake, but however, let's not repeat the same mistake that we've done before. And we'll modify this all right. So now when we save and test. Those move along well. well caught most of our mistakes. This is the particular mistake that I want to uh, to show. A lot of times these uh, little fillets aren't included, so you have to be very careful when uh, selecting. And this is another reason why uh, save and test often. go. That should do it. That's interesting. We uh, Looks like we caught that one. But everything else is working just fine. Yeah, we're just in this one. A lot of times it's a little um, troubling that you can't do the shift and deselect. So, sadly, much of the times, we uh, just have to remake, uh, reselect. Scripts don't resize all the time. Careful not to select any of these. But now that we've made this, this is a new grip. I'm not sure if, ah, indeed, it's still stuck. Well, one of the things that we could do is have this move along with it. However, we still want this to be lined up with the uh, septic tank discharge. So this tack, this grip not moving, is probably gonna be a good thing 
so we can keep it nice and close to the septic tank. So now our next step is a lot of times with this distance here, this tank, or excuse me, this pump can uh, interfere with the inlet of the um, the riser tube of the uh, septic tank. So let's do a, a flip command. We need to start with the parameter. Aligning the grip for the uh, flip command. And now we assign the action to the flip. I want to select the flip. Select everything here, and that should allow us to flip the pump onto either side. And uh, we don't want this grip to move at all. Keeping it there would be uh, a good place. And now we test the block. Doesn't look like we left anything behind. Of course, these should still work properly. And uh, that's uh, pretty good. However, another uh, common mistake would be as we go to the next one, we can't adjust this anymore at this particular kind. We can only do this under the base. So let's go through our different views and show them so we can see them in each of the uh, the visibility states. And I forgot the flip on the other two. All right, well, there it is. And um, now, as we save and test, I can save, however, uh, we can keep going. Um, seems that everything is still showing up. And we're good to go. So this is uh, kind of a more advanced, uh, just uh, more advanced block. So some of the things to look out for is if we didn't take the time to line up everything before we started, it would be something that we'd have to go through, have parameters and actions for every different view because the, um, say, the check valve or the elbows weren't lining up properly. We'd have to do that several different times. So by putting the work in the very beginning of the block, we can save a lot of time in the uh, kind of the operations of the block. And uh, with this, uh, we'll repeat as we go through, update the, uh, the fittings, uh, the discharge assembly and uh, whatnot, so we can get the, uh, the top view, uh, the elevation view, uh, or the plan, um, set with the same functionality as the, uh, the profile view. Hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching and uh, subscribe.